What's really cool about Serato Sample is that you can add an effect per sound. What do I mean by that? Well, if a sound on this pad is this, what I can do is add a filter to that individual sound, whereas a different hit won't be under that filter. So since I sequenced sound one and sound three, I'm going to give it about a nine o'clock filter. So now when I play the track back, those sounds that I filtered are now going to sound super cool. So now that we filtered sound one and three, I'm going to press play on the right side so that we can get a sense of what this track sounds like now. So if we take a look now at Serato Studio, what I can do is copy this intro scene that I've created. I'm going to hover over the second scene section. I'm going to click copy with my mouse. I'm going to verify this is the sound that I want. So I'm going to go back to the intro and I'm going to take the filter off of the sample. So now that I've copied the scene, what's really cool is that I can automate parameters like the filter in the scene that I just copied. If I click scene two and I click this robot icon in this upper right hand corner, now I can take certain parameters. I'm going to take that, this sound right here. And I'm going to move the filter knob. So I'm going to play this back. So I'm, I'm going to bring the filter knob back to 12 o'clock and now I'm going to play my intro scene. So now I'm going to play back what I have so far. The intro four bars will not have a filter on the sample, but the next four bars will. Let's check it out. I'm going to select the scene by changing it manually. Now that's how quick the workflow is with the DJ202. So yes, your DJ202 is now a master controller for this incredible digital audio workstation. And all I've done is create this really basic framework of what we can work with. Now let me show you one other thing.